welcome back to the Sisu studio here live from Calgary, Canada for the Men's Roller Derby World Cup 2016. My name's Panda. And rumor has it I've been called Bob Noxious. Sorry, just switch my audio feed over there. Uh, so we're going to be cutting to track two real soon um, for Italy versus England. And the game that we've got currently on track one is Team USA versus Team Finland. As expected, Team USA dominating the game so far. 109 points on the board with 18 and a half minutes of gameplay left to finish. And Finland not having scored anything yet. But as soon as you know about it, you'll probably hear the screams over on track two. Uh, so <laughs> if you can hear that, I don't know if you can, but this is uh, anytime the jammers are getting out of the pack, these guys are going crazy. All righty. You no, know, sometimes Panda, I just have to trust in what you say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it looks like we've got some points on the board now for Team Finland. We'll give you a, a club, more of an update on that later on in the day. We've got to throw to track two now for Team Italy versus Team England. So we're going to hand over to our announcers over there. See you soon. Hi, and welcome to the CC Muth Guard Track 2 here at Men's Roller Derby World Cup 2016. Day 2, so much fun already in the bag right here on this track. We've got Italy and England. My name is Stay Puffed. I am Jax Blue. And we'll be your hosts for the next 30-minute uh, game here. Um, we were just discussing what would most likely happen. Now, we don't like to make too many predictions, but England is a little bit further advanced than Italy at this point. A little bit, yes. So far in this tournament. If it works out that England takes this game, they will go ahead to play Finland tomorrow at, what do we say, 9 o'clock? And uh, Italy will most likely go on to play Spain Spain at, what is it, 1 o'clock? Uh, 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So um, I'm expecting a really exciting game. Now, we were also talking about there was an injury earlier this week for Team England. Yes, there was. Um, who are we talking about again? Number... 100, Alien Al, uh, had suffered an injury during practice yes. uh, a couple days ago, actually prior to the tournament. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here. I know their goal is to make sure that he gets a chance to skate so that if, uh, as they progress, he'll get a chance to play in those games. Right, and he's been, I was told that he's been told by physio that uh, to give it a go and see how it feels. So. All right, awesome. Okay, folks, well, you're uh, tuned into the right place. We've got an exciting game ahead of us, can't wait. Uh, our co-announcers down here, Holly Sheet and Ruckus Ron, are getting the crowd pumped up. Hope you folks at home are also excited about what's, good about, what's about to happen. We got a lot of Team England fans in the crowd here, and I want to give a quick shout out to the Furnace Firecrackers and the Barrow Infernos. It's about 10 p.m. over, uh, over there right now, but they're watching and they're excited, I'm sure. Awesome. Perfect time to, you know, hopefully, you know, fill up a pint and watch a game, right? Isn't that Absolutely. what you guys do in England? Pints, right? Pints. Yeah. Speaking of folks uh, not able to be here with us in Calgary, if you're on the Twitter, uh, hashtag MRDWC, not at, but hashtag MRDWC. We're watching the feed. If there's someone you want to say hi to, we can try and fit that in. Uh, but uh, please let us know that you're watching and uh, what you like and all the rest of it, and we'll, we'll try and make mention of it. And here we go. First... Skaters taking to the track, getting ready to start jam number one. Let's run down our rosters. For Team England, we have number 100, as we said, Alien Al. 101 is Blitzkrieg. Number 1337, Matt Levin. Number 17, Sully. Number two, Shrooms. Number 26, Alex Tyler. Number 32, Shane Acebet. Number 40 is Don Gingivani. Number five is Fish. 515, Piston Broke. 60, Jerry Atrick. 6283 is Spectral, number seven, Tom Banks, and number 900 is Giggity. All right, and is Blitzkrieg not playing or is jamming right now? Just took lead jam for England. We'll get to the Italy uh, roster here momentarily. Already rounding the track, a very early lead for England. Uh, jammer is Chuburga, uh, number 37 on Italy. Five points up on the board for Team England. And Blitzkrieg are rounded through on another scoring pass quite quickly. Uh, looks like the star cover's been removed here from Chuburga, so their pivot's holding it. Uh, let's see what's going on. Okay, so the pivot's the, in the back of the pivot's in behind. Where's the, oh, I see. He's got his dash in his hand. Hasn't okay. put it on just yet. 
waiting for an opportunity, but penalties are uh, already hitting the Italy team. A couple uh, blockers already in the penalty box. And that is a hit out. Rostin Rolla with the star in his hand just gets hit out off of turn number three. There's a direction of play penalty in the meantime to Italy incurring a third uh, penalty box occupant already. Rostin Rolla now taking possession of the star. Still in behind, behind that tight four wall of red blockers. And oh. another pass for Blitzkrieg. Almost unannounced there without a hall pass. Another five points on the board for Team England. 20-0 jam thus far for Team England and Rostin Rolla still struggling. Just checking, he thought he was maybe incurred a penalty. However, he's told to continue. Yeah, the penalty box is already seeing lots of action right here in this first jam. Uh, Blitzkrieg on the reapproach, approach uh, number 37 from Italy, Chuberka came back out of the penalty box, tried to give a shoulder hit, and a no pass, no penalty means that that uh, Roller Derby Athletics power jam will only give four points this time around. And a hit out on Blitzkrieg to the outside of the straightaway by Chuberka, and that's gonna end the jam. No more points going up on the board, but a 29 to nothing jam in favor of Team England to get us rolling in jam number one. A very solid start here for the folks in red. Alien Al, as we talked about earlier, is up to the jam line. Uh, the Nerd Skates jam line, of course. And uh, opponent is number 89, uh, Goofy. Their captain will be taking the star for the second jam in this game. King Crazy uh, getting caught. <laughs> One of our Twitter followers uh, sending us a picture. King Crazy producing this bout. And another lead jam for England, Alien Al taking that lead back into the pack already up to the Nerd Skates pivot line and a tiptoe out. The Lincolnshire um, Bombers Roller Girls are watching us. Forearm penalty on Michael Colella. He's off to the penalty box. And Alien Al with the first five points. Italy's number 16, yeah, Flyboy, sorry. Big shoulder hit there, and Alien Al comes around again for five. And good job on Alien Al, looking strong. Racking up those points. This is good news for Team England. Alien Al, a strong jammer for Team England. And making his initial pass, Goofy, the captain for Team Italy. Just a little too late there for Italy to pick up any points in this jam. Uh, final five for England brings the score to 44. 26 minutes and 25 left to play in this game. We've got, uh, let's see, a change up of jammers on both sides. Grosso, zero in white, and Fish, number five, is your jammer for your Team England this time around. Fish uh, skating out of the Barrow Infernos, who we already have established are listening. Sure, they're going crazy right now. Fish, their jammer, looking to pick up lead jammer status at the back of the pack. Lots Warden of posturing going on between the two jammers here. Fish working to the outside, just dancing on the line, and oh, that's trouble for England. Fish getting a penalty. Multiplayer block. And a roller derby athletics power jam as uh, Fish is off to the penalty box for Grosso. Now Team Italy with that potential power jam has to get that initial pass though first. Pack massing up in turn one. Oh, look at that. Uh, helmet cover off and passed over to the Italian pivot. Let's see if the pivot can make the initial. Michael Colella took that one, number 56. Team England walling up. If they can't have a point scorer on the track, the least they could do is block up. Oh, it looks like Fish is back out on the track Fish as back well. back on the track for sure. And Fish quickly working to the front of the pack, dancing on the outside of the line, heading into turn number three. Fish goes down, stumbles, but back up, and he's looking to get around and through. One blocker left to get around and a spinner rim at the front, and just able to hold the line and stay inbounds is Fish. Oh no. His initial so, pass. Yeah, Colella dropped the helmet cover. Uh, th didn't realize that he had dropped it. Now it's a matter of making sure the team one doesn't take him out while he's trying to grab it. And Fish now in a scoring pass, and this. Jam will go the full two minutes. So Fish dancing the line again around turn number four, able to stay in bounds, and Fish putting a big five 
up on the board for Team England. And a big offensive pass there too. Dished out a shoulder check of his own. He wasn't waiting to be hit, so awesome. Hey, listen, uh, let's mention Wicko Skates. Greetings from Finland. Your feet called. They need a hug. Best best regards, Wicko Skates. I try to envision the hug, the, the foot hug thing, and it just, I, maybe it's a Finnish thing. I don't know. I don't know. Well, and uh, a lot of Finnish, uh, Finnish people on Twitter, I've seen a lot of uh, comments saying, good job, Team Finland, in uh, their game against the U.S. Yeah, absolutely. They definitely um, surprised some, fo some, some, you know, some folks against one of the strongest teams in this tournament, absolutely. Absolutely, so. and the Finnish fans are proud of their country and proud of their team. Chuburga and Shrooms are, sorry, Sully, your jammers this time around in white and red, respectively. Hertz Roller Derby giving a shout out to Shrooms since you mentioned Shrooms and Reaper. And a lead jam to Team England. Sully rounding the track. Chuburga just looking for some daylight in that pack and goes down just on the inside of turn number one. Oh, slipped by unannounced. Sully with a pass and five points. Jammer lap point included, number 37 is picking up a penalty. Chaburga is off to the penalty box. It'll be a Roller Derby Athletics power jam. Uh, low block penalty on Chuburga. That's the call there. Team England already with 62 points on the board, looking to tack on to that lead. Now on the scoring pass on the Roller Derby Athletics power jam. Team Italy can just not seem to get a hold of these jammers. They're back and forth across the track and uh, able to slip through. And Sully around again, already with five in the sky and looking for another five and takes to the outside of turn number three. And that's gonna be oh, a track that. penalty on Sully. We'll have a jammer exchange here. It means a and Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam Team Italy. That's right, Chuburga heading back to the track. The pack backing up. You notice Team England is bringing themselves back into the stretch as far as possible. Make sure that Chuburga has to work for it. He pretty much had to make a half track uh, you know, distance either way, so. And it looks like Sully is back on his feet. He might get back in here before the end of the jam. We'll see. Otherwise, they'll trap Team England Jammer. Oh no, there we go. Sully is out. And Sully continuing to score this jam again. Going the full two minutes, just coming to an end now. And will this be the first points on the board for Team Italy? No. No points for Team Italy, unfortunately. Uh, 72 points holding uh, for England, holding that lead. 21-21 left to play in this game. You know, they were really close to picking up points in that last jam. Very close. Um, yeah. And they've had a pretty decent run this weekend. Let's not forget that they have definitely done okay so far, yesterday and today. Our Jammers 101 uh, is Team England's Blitzkrieg. And jamming for Italy is Grosso, returning to the line. Blitzkrieg had a solid jam earlier on in the spout. Penalty being dished out here to England's pivot, 5-1-5. Piston rope. Helmet cover is off for Team Italy. And in the hands of their pivot, Flyboy. Number 14, Fast and Furio. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Fast Act. and Furio has not fully taken possession of the star, oh. but will go to the penalty box with star in hand. Trouble for Italy there, exactly. Either way, this is going to be a Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam Team England. Yeah. Pack separating a little bit here. Uh, the back of it in turn one. There we go. A pass for Team England's 101 Blitzkrieg. Rounding the track with, what did he get, five on that one in this Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam. And going to tap the hips oh. and start with a Roller Derby Athletics Power Start for Team England. Bristol Roller Derby, I'm sure, pretty pleased watching Team England racking up the points to an 86 to nothing lead over Team Italy right now. The Derby Shop, because Roller Derby saved your soul but wrecks all your gear, The Derby Shop is an online as well as brick and mortar shop in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, or online at thederbyshop.nl and is known for the best advice and technical support when it comes to all your roller derby gear. And if you ever visit, they say you should bring cookies. Our Alien Al back out on the track for Team England. And an 
Oh, a high block will send the jammer to the penalty box, giving Italy the, the uh, potential power jam. We'll see if they can make it through cleanly. And Italy still available to pick up lead jammer status. Lead jammer status is still open. Oh, look at this, a stark pass over to number 89. Goofy takes the star, their captain. Uh, Roller Derby Athletics power jam for Italy. Oh, uh, not the lead jammer. Oh, sorry. But it is that a was power my mistake, jam. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It is a power jam for sure. Roller Derby Athletics, Booty Quick uh, posting results on Twitter for those who have not been following. Oh, England's jammer Alien Al back out on the track. Goofy still unable to pick up points in this one. Alien Al with a hop over turn one. Uh, incomplete, has to go back in behind the Nerd Skates pivot line. And uh, England's uh, number 14 also, or sorry, Italy's Fast and Furio bring him back past the Nerd Skates pivot line. Yeah, Alien that's Al with five. Five yeah. points for Alien Al. Again, looking strong, that attempted uh, apex jump by Alien Al was... Uh, Thwarted, but if a we good can look say. at uh, he's looking healthy. Mm -hmm. Fantastic! I'm sure uh, Spa Town Roller Girls are watching at home. Wilshire Roller Derby watching as well. I'm sure most of England's Derby community is watching their feed right now. Alien L on the approach once more. Pass turn two and another five points. Goofy has yet to make that point pass. It's really disheartening to watch because I you know I know that the intention is there. And four, there we go, four points on the board. Italy finally up on the board and the crowd is certainly appreciative of that. I'm sure Spot Town Roller Girls that are watching saw King Crazy earlier and that's likely where the picture came from. <laughs> and uh, England passing the century mark, 101 and Italy four points on the board. The 2016 Men's Roller Derby World Cup is sanctioned and insured by Roller Sports Canada, providing insurance and support for all Canadian roller sports. Visit us at www.rollersports.ca or on Facebook. And Lee Jimmer status going to Team Italy. Come nice. of Grasso. This is a big lead jam for Team Italy. England Both jammers free of the pass. packs, yeah. Fish with the star. Grasso coming through, gonna put more points on the board. For Italy, that's going to be a three up on the board for Team Italy. And a good call off to hold Team England to no score for that jam. For the first jam in this game. <laughs> exactly. Seven jams down, and this is the first one where England has not picked up any points. So, interesting change of events, and we are still have 16 minutes left to go in this game. Sully and Rostin Rolla taking the jam line, uh, the Nerd Skates jam, uh, jammer line once again. For those of you watching at home, the clock will go the full 30 seconds without stoppage. There will be no stoppage on the clock. Uh, this is just for the remainder of the games today. We actually have one full hour game later this evening at 7 or 7.15, I think. Uh, Calgary time, mountain time. Mountain time, correct. Sully has got uh, lead jam for Team England. Like a pinball coming through turns one and two. On the first point pass, five points, jammer lap point included. No star visible for Italy. It's a stash. Rostin Roll has got it in his hand. I'm not really sure that that's helping them at this point, though. It's not. And oh, dancing on around turn number two, putting five more points up on the board is Sully. Sully coming around turn one once again into that white wall. Italy doing their best to keep Sully at bay. Oh, another attempt at a block by Michael Colella. And Sully gonna be content to call off the jam as Flyboy was around and through on his initial pass. Team England now just running away with this. A 108 point lead over Team Italy right now with just under 15 minutes remaining. Neither team wasting any time. Blitzkrieg and Grosso at the line in 101 red and zero in white. Uh, full five on five as the penalty box empties once again. Harley 5150 watching Blitzkrieg and loving the work that he's putting in today. Lots going on there in the pack. Some uh, 
sort of shuffling by Team England as they drive the jammer to the outside and eventually call, uh, sort of get a penalty out of this one. A cut track penalty on Grosso will mean a potential power jam uh, for 101 Blitzkrieg, Roller Derby Athletic sponsored power jam. Here it comes No into the inside once again. Blitzkrieg having to reposition back. Now this is interesting, it's starting to change. It's not as easy for England to pull out a lead jam now. I think, you know, Italy is actually maybe starting to figure out how their jammers are operating. That it does eventually possible. happen, but. Blitzkrieg is around and through picking up lead jammer status. Tom Banks in the penalty box for England. Southern Discomfort also watching Team England and cheering them on. <laughs> I think there's a Southern Discomfort player on this team, is there, in, in, on one of these teams. Reaper um, 666's little sister as, as wondering where Reaper is. We oh, there's a few of them, I guess, on Southern Discomfort. Blitzkrieg, uh, Shrooms, Shane Aisbet, Piston Broke, Spectral, and Giggity are all uh, Southern Discomfort players as well as on Team England. Tom Banks off to the penalty box and a, oh, Piston Broke also coming through to the penalty box as well as uh, Shrooms. Grosso with the Stars Dash, able to pick up uh, the initial pass and possibly a point in here. Oh, no, nope. that's going to be a low blocking penalty called on Grosso. This is going to be another Roller Derby Athletics power jam for Team England. Tony and Giorgio Murder up front there awaiting the return of Blitzkrieg. Uh, didn't happen there, but uh, let's see, Team England picked up nine points in jam nine. One, Italy holding at seven. 124 to seven, 17, 117 points, the, uh, the gap. And Alien now, Alien now, now on the uh, Nerdskate's start line. Louise Von Tees, a big fan of Alien now. And a pivot line start. And Alien now with the little apex off, they're gonna pick up lead jammer status for Team England. Three blockers now on the tr track for Team Italy. Two blockers out for Team England. Three. The fourth blocker from Italy just joined in time to hit Alien Al. And then Alien Al was hit to the outside of turn number two. Recycled nicely and back in, looking for the full five points. And Alien wow. Al spin around off a of turn number three. Gonna put five up. Alien Al should be renamed Whirling Dervish as he uh, came in through like a tornado on the outside of this of the stretch. Another pass in four. Meanwhile, Piston Broke and Schuberger both off to the penalty box. We could also call him Duck and Tuck after that last pass. <laughs> Grosso through as the initial pass now. Both jammers, it's all about the points in jam 10. Four more going up on the board. Roll, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Roll Line, the Italian tailored skating experience fit on your needs since 1999. That's Roll Line. So we're at 137.7, 10 minutes and 34 seconds left to play in the game. I'm not going to make any predictions here, but I think England is has definitely got a strong lead on Italy. And who is England going to face tomorrow? Uh, we mentioned this earlier. It is Finland. Correct. That's correct, the winner Why of do I feel game. like I was being tested there? <laughs> How good's your memory? Darn it. And Team Italy, as we said, will go on to face- Spain. Spain tomorrow. And that should be an interesting one. I'm sure Italy and Spain, very familiar with each other in yeah. fairly close close proximity to one another. So we should get a little bit of a, a good battle between yeah. those two teams. Indeed. I'm, I would expect that they probably would play each other more often. A cut track penalty. Power jam. Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam, compliments of Team England. On Goofy, off to the penalty box. <laughs> and five points there for Team England, number 17, Sully. Sully threw on the seat of his pants, a little bit of a roll down the straightaway and hopped back up on his skates. Still able to put points on the board. You can see now that we've entered the final 10 minutes, the Team England taking their time a little bit. I mean, Sully is not sprinting to get back to the pack. They know they've got a healthy lead and the clock is on their side. Well, and there's no point in burning out. There's still lots more Derby to play this weekend. We have two more days of Derby. Team England doing well and advancing. 
So you don't you don't want to risk injury or risk burning yourself out. Indeed. Goofy back to the track, fresh out of the penalty box. Goofy pushing his way through the pack and able to get through on his initial pass. Sully now back into the mix, and I suspect this will be Sully's last pass through. Mm. So England were actually the second uh, place winners in 2014. So it's, I mean, it's not really surprising here what we're seeing as far as score over Italy. Um, but, but there's been some, some pretty stiff competition this weekend too. Um, Canada and USA have both also had very um, high numbers and uh, Canada came in third, USA was first in 2014. Australia, Australia and, uh, and Belgium, sorry. Australia is looking really strong in this tournament. I was going to say, there's been a couple surprises, and actually that game against between Canada and Mexico was a big surprise too. Really close in a low-scoring game. So it'll be interesting to see where Mexico falls in, when the tournament is all through. So lead jam now to Team England's number five. Fish with lead in the pack. Oh, a penalty here on... Oh, Fish, I'm, oh my God. <laughs> I don't know if that's a distraction sign or whatever. There's a fan in the stand that has a sign that says, Fish, I'm pregnant. So I don't know if, um, oh, that was a shoulder hit I felt. Rostin Rolla took flight and a forearm penalty on, the, on Fish in the meantime. That means it's gonna be a roller derby athletics power jam for Italy, but, uh, Italy's number 16, Flyboy, has got to get that star back on if they're going to pick up any points. Italy's got a full accompaniment on the track, and uh, England has got a few people in the box. Three blockers so now, now on the track for England. Yeah. Yes, they've uh, made their way back from the penalty box. Italy not able to go anywhere, and now they hit out off of turn number three, and... Italy getting dragged back to the straightaway. Fish back out from the penalty box. Italy putting up huge defense here in turn four, giving Fish a run for his money. Wow. All the way, stretched all the way out to turn one even. Any last attempt to try and slow him down. Ouch. Man, Fish can really lay those hits. Number 60, Giorgio Murder took a spill and is bent over here. He definitely uh, felt that one. No question about it. A final, was that five there for Team England in that last pass? 15 points bringing their score to 167. Italy unfortunately shut out in jam 12. And we talked about uh, Team England and how well they did at the last World Cup. The last World Cup in was in England. Mm -hmm. And this year it's in Canada. And in 2018, if you want to potentially host Men's Roller Derby World Cup, details are available on the website. Go check that out, mensrollerderby.com. Yeah, maybe you got a big backyard. A big you, backyard. We yeah. already established your place is too small. That's right. Yes, very small. Mine also Number, is too small. Oh, a cut track penalty on Italy is going to give uh, Blitzkrieg the, the Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam Grasso off to the penalty box for that cut. Blitzkrieg is racking up the Roller Derby Athletics Power Jams in this game. It's definitely been to the advantage of, of Team England. Blitzkrieg, Blitzkrieg around it through lead chamber status. Five points for Blitzkrieg on that last pass. Final five minutes to go in this game. Blitzkrieg around and through. Another five points up on the board for Team England. Originally, Team England was going to try and hold Physio Terrorist back as their GOAT, and it didn't. they didn't really need to. It looks like Blitzkrieg had, had already made the pass because Grosso's back out on the track. Physio Terrorist is a fantastic name. I just love it. <laughs> I'm guessing that's probably related to his profession. Uh, so, initial pass. Through, initial pass, yeah. By Grosso. 
That's going to bring this jam to an end, and England now more than 170 points. Oh, oh a back block late in the jam. Power sends jam. Sends Grosso off to the, to the penalty box, meaning a power start for Ailey and Al. A uh, potential roller derby athletics power jam. Absolutely. For all you Alien Al fans out there, here you go. Uh, here is your jammer on the track for this roller derby athletics power start. I, You know, I feel like Alien Al would be the great name for the host of a TV show, like a kid's TV show or something. Hi, kids, I'm Alien Al. I was thinking... Uh, Where was I? I was thinking maybe one of, the, uh, one of those cool Japanese game shows. Yes, for sure. S1, the S1 Lifer helmet is the best fitting and safest helmet for roller derby. Get a lifer and be a lifer. S1helmets.com. And we just heard the jam timer call five seconds. A whistle has sounded alien now, now off on the roller derby athletics power start and easily through the inside picking up lead jammer status. Alien Al quickly around turn number four. The pack's stagnant between turns number one and two and Alien Al now joins them on a scoring run. Alien Al. Steps to the outside of turn number two and through the pack for five points up on the board for Team England. Again, the pack stalled turn number two and Alien Al is back on another scoring run. Alien Al dancing the line on his toe stops to put another five up on the board for Team England. Grosso out of the penalty box looking to make his initial pass as Alien Al now coming into the pack on a third scoring pass. But this jam just oh. does not quite hang on to the line in turn number three. And Alien Al is going to get pulled all the way back to turn number two. Very, very close. Actually, from here, it looked like Alien Al had dropped onto his ankle, and I thought for sure that one was going to hurt. But it seemed to make it through very agile and uh, just about hung on to that line. And Grosso off to the penalty box. This is going to be a low block call on Grosso, and this will be another Roller Derby Athletics power jam for Team England. England teetering on the 200 point mark as we speak. Cut track penalty late in the jam on Team England's number 40. Don Giovanni will spend the first part of the next jam in the penalty box. I can only imagine what's going through the minds of Team Italy at this point. We got a minute 45 left to play. Go out in a blaze of glory, perhaps. You know, I, I little, think they're probably starting line. to think about their game against Team Spain tomorrow. <laughs> well, you know. Sully number 17, the lone jammer on the track for Team England. A pivot line start and for the pack. Rostin Rolo almost missing the whistle there. They almost skated short for that jam, but Rostin Rolo with a nice hop onto the track just as the whistle was sounding, able to stay on the track. And here's Sully with the power start, working now on a scoring run, has picked up lead jammer status. Sully into the mix, four blockers set at the front, and Sully around and through, easily putting five points up on the board. Goofy back now out of the penalty box and through easily, um, making it uh, both jammers on the track now. And this It'll is that going out in the blaze of the glory thing, Goofy going, getting through quick yeah. to minimize the damage force the call off. Three more points up on the board for Team England. Sully uh, seemed to think that he was getting, that he should have got five on that one. The officials giving out, uh, I think it looked like two from here, three points. Three. So I, I somehow don't think that the, those points are going to make a difference in the end result. Not a uh, huge difference at this 30 point. 30 seconds on the clock now, yeah. and I really think that uh, the Team England is going to take this one. It's just a gut feeling I've got, but yeah. I think Team England is going to win. So this is interesting. Michael Colella has not jammed yet in this game, as far as I can remember, for, for, for Team Italy, but has taken the star for what is potentially the last jam of the game. Getting pushed out to the outside, repositioning back behind the Nerd Skates jam line. Colella Fish the, has already made the lap. Colella at the back of the pack waiting for Fish. A little bit of jammer on jammer action there, but Fish slips the hit from Colella and around to the front. Kalila struggling. Uh, in fact, you know, dropping to the floor a couple times. Skaters coming around turn number two. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Fish on another scoring pass. We've said that once or twice today. 210 <laughs> right now. The separation between these two teams. Game clock has expired. This will be the final jam of the bout. I don't suspect we're going to get into a tie situation where we'll have extra extra time. 
and again, bodies flying everywhere in the straightaway. Fish, a little duck and tuck, but it's gonna be Fish called on a four. Oh, a double penalty, cut track penalty, and then insubordination there for Kalila in the penalty box. That's really, uh, I mean, that's pretty much the swan, swan song for Italy in this game. Uh, Team England on a roller derby athletics power jam, and really, the clock is on their side. At this point, they can just call it off at, at any time. Absolutely. 2.20 is the separation right now. No pass, no penalty. Four more points up on the board for Team England. 29 seconds remaining on the, the uh, jam clock. Lots of support out there for Team Finland, and they're proud of their team for putting points up on the board against Team USA. Getting a lot of tweets in about that. Uh, and Nin Japan, Team Japan's got a lot of uh, support out there. Another pass here by Team England. Uh, Fish riding out that clock almost all the way to the end there. And that's going to do it. An unofficial final is eight for Team Italy, 242 for Team England. But I think officially we can say England will be advancing. To play Finland tomorrow. That'll to be an Finland exciting tomorrow. game. And we said that's at nine tomorrow. Uh, and then at th on In, this track, on, on the Francis Mokka track. Yeah, track yeah. And then, uh, as we said, Italy will take on Spain tomorrow at 3 p.m., also on this track. Or is it on track one? Oh, sorry, 1 p.m. on uh, the CC Mouth Guard track right here. So make sure to tune into that. Uh, folks, uh, interesting game. We kind of, you know, even at the 10 minute mark, we kind of knew where it was going. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, coming up next on this track, who do we got? Uh, we've got uh, Argentina and Sweden, so tune in for that. Uh, again, I'm Stay Puffed. I'm Jax Blue. And we've had a ton of fun. We'll see you later. We really miss the feeling of spontaneously visiting a store and trying out the newest gear. Hang out for all roller skaters. Everyone has their own unique style. Because of our large assortment, we can now personalise roller skates while you wait, so you can try them out right away. Our mission is to fit you with the right gear, and don't forget to turn left.
little dip, clap the pack. If you block the block, then I can jam the track. Claws on the floor, styles on the head. Roller to be locked with the zebra said. Yeah, we roll it, yeah, we wrap it for real. Can't feel the back wheels underneath my heels. Up through my spine, penetrating the heart. Call it up the jam till the next jam starts. My boat broke up.